This is Channel 4, launching into a new adventure for Tintin. Jose's Adventures of Tintin. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Snowy, won't be long now. Captain Haddock's ship should be tied up along here someplace. Snowy, look! They threw somebody off the dock. Quick, sailor. Hey! What's going on around here? They're around here someplace. Precisely someplace. <coughs> Blimey, look. It's snowy. And Tintin. Two sailors drove up and threw a man off the dock. Then drove on down the pier. Sounds like our suspect, by Joe. I'll check the water. You check Tintin's story. Right there. Good heavens! What was that? Oh, no! <laughs> there, there, there's a body in the water. Nobody we know. What brings my two favorite detectives to the waterfront? We're working on a big, uh, caper, Tintin. Counterfeiters. Well, gentlemen, look what I found in the seaman's pocket. What's that? Counterfeit coins. And what's this? Only a scrap of paper, Tintin. Hmm. A crab with golden claws. Oh, I would... Hey, where are you going? We're off to round up the counterfeiter. Well, you must get these bricks first. That's odd. Why would a sailor have this label in his pocket? Uh-oh. There's something written on the back. It looks like help. And there's a name on it, Snowy. Caraboujon. That's the name of Captain Haddock's ship. We gotta find Captain Haddock. <laughs> Snowy, look! Captain Haddock's ship! I can't imagine him being mixed up with counterfeiters. Hey, it's that kid with the dog. Snowy, look out! You swab, you missed him. Those cans! The crab with the golden claws. Snowy, what are you barking at? Sounds like somebody's in there. <laughs> it's the Thompsons! I don't, Tintin. The beard's merely a disguise. See? Precisely. A uh, disguise. We're hot on the trail of those crooks. Hotter than you think. That sailor was from Captain Haddock's ship. Good heavens, the Carabajan. It's the kid and the two detectives. Me. They're coming aboard. See that the kid doesn't leave the ship. Oi, mate. I'll see if I can find Captain Haddock. Well? Ahoy. We're Thompson and Thompson. Precisely. Detectives. We're here to investigate the case of the unfortunate sailor. Where's the ship's captain? The captain? Oh, wait. Uh, well, he's gone. I wonder where Captain Haddock is. Then you don't know the sailor who met foul play? Never heard of him. Uh, excuse me, boss, but I took care of that job for you. Good. Where's our friend Tintin? In? Uh, he went ashore. Said he couldn't wait. Ah, oh, good day, sir, and thanks. Watch your step. <laughs> 
Do you swim? How do I know? I've never tried. Get to the hell with you, kid! What are you guys up to? <laughs> the ship paddock! Shut that kid up. Oi, sir. <laughs> Boy, that was a close call. Welcome aboard, kid. Where's the Thompson twins? Those nitwit detectives went ashore. Where's Captain Haddock? Knock off the silly questions or I'll give you another bath. Snowy! Boy, am I glad to see you! Here you are, sir. Okay. Send T to the bottom. Get a rope and a lead weight, sailor. Oi, mate. Good work, Snowy, but hurry! Hurry, Snowy, before they come back! Oh, who are you? I brung you some chow. Thanks, but how can I eat with my hands tied? Uh, I'll fix that, but no monkey business, or I'll get real rough, see? Hi, Captain! Captain, huh? Oh, no, you don't. What's that? What the... Where's Tintin? I had a gun on him, but that mad dog bit me. Come on, Snowy. Where'd he go, mate? Beats me. Nothing here, sir. Now, he won't get far. He can't get off the ship. And the boss said scuttle it. Will Tintin survive the fury of the trigger-happy diamond smugglers? Don't miss Mutiny on the Carabajan. The next exciting episode of Hergé's Adventures of Tintin. This is Channel 4. Versailles Adventures of Tintin. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Mutiny on the Caraboujan. With Tintin in the hold, the Caraboujan sailed. Shanghaied and far at sea, Tintin was in trouble. But when the cook brought food, Tintin made a break for freedom. The first mate heard a shot as Tintin escaped and came running. Tintin clung for his life, but Tintin's at the end of his rope. Check the top side, I'll go below. We must be in the storeroom. Look, if that's food, we can hide here for days. Uh-oh. Snowy! Look! Hands of crab meat. Like the label found on that poor seaman. Open that door before I blast it open. Snowy! This isn't crab meat. Diamonds! 
real diamonds. Looks like we're mixed up with a gang of diamond smugglers. Go get some dynamite. I'm gonna blast that door. Oi, oi, sir. Come on, Snowy. We gotta get out of here. Uh-oh. It's a long way up there to that porthole. If there was some way... Good boy, Snowy. I hope I can make it. Snowy, there's somebody in there. It's... it's Captain Haddock. Who? What? Captain, what's the matter? Don't you know me? It's me, Tintin. Tintin? Who's uh, Tintin? Tintin's up in the captain's cabin. Captain, what's happened to you? I, I'm a sick man. I, I don't remember. I... But Captain, I'm your friend Tintin. This is your ship, the Carabajan. Carabajan? Oh, me head, I... Your ship's being used for smuggling. Uh, smuggling? Yes, diamond smuggling. Look! On my ship? Captain! Open up! Uh-oh, it's the mate. Open the door before I break it down. Hurry, Snowy! Hold it! Blasted, he got away again. Where's Tintin? He slipped out the porthole to the storeroom below. Well, what, what's going on around here? Well, who, who are you? Go get the captain some more uh, medicine. He's a sick man. Aye, aye, sir. What's this diamond smuggling business? Now, Captain, you're out of your head. You're sick. Oh, but I, I'm an honest man. This, this is my ship. Here's the Captain's uh, medicine, sir. Good. Give him his usual uh, pill. Come on, Captain. Take your medicine like a good boy. You stay here, sailor. I'll take care of Tintin personally. That knockout drop will keep the Captain quiet for a while. <laughs> for the last time, kid, open up. Okay? I'll open it the hard way. Stay where you are, kid. Champagne. Hmm. Sounds like the mate nap, Tin Tin. Again. What the? Sounds like trouble in the captain's cabin. <laughs> what? You goofed again, you bungling nitwit. The kid was hiding under the bunk. Alibi. Get me that kid or you go over the side. Ah, uh, aye, aye, sir. Blow the man down. Oh, ho, ho. Quiet, Captain. They'll find us here. <laughs> They're coming this way. Come on, Captain, try to wake up. Huh? Blimey, mate. Look, the top. There's somebody under it. Hold your fire, sailor. Don't waste lead on that mutt. If we don't get rid of that kid, the chief's gonna get rid of us. I'm gonna turn this tub inside out till I find him. Boys tanker full steam ahead. Captain, quiet. Mm. Turn to and cover every inch of this ship. They're here and we're gonna find them. Aye, aye, sir. All hands on deck, batten the hatches. Shh, Captain, they'll hear you. Well, they're not on deck. Let's go below. 
They're going below. Now's our chance. Looking for somebody? <gasps> Where's Captain Haddock? You heard me, kid. Where's the captain? The, the, the captain? I'm tired of playing games with you, Tintin. You've had it. Hey, sailor, bring me that lead weight. Good work, Snowy. Quick, to the lifeboat. I'll feed you to the sharks for this. Here's the lead weight, sir. What'll I do with it? Put it in your pocket and jump overboard, you idiot. Get that Tintin. Aye, sir. Who's rocking the boat? Quiet, Captain. Hold it! On the double sailor with the Tommy gun! And the searchlight! Over air with that light! Duck out of sight, Captain! What's that, boy? Mutiny? On my ship? Keep your head down, Captain! We're Snowy! Captain, what happened to Snowy? Snowy! Snowy! Jump! Snowy! They, they got Snowy! Will Snowy survive his daring leap for life? Don't miss a drift at sea. The next thrilling episode of Herge's Adventures of Tintin. Now on four, Tintin makes a dash for freedom. Herge's Adventures of Tintin. with the golden claws. Adrift at sea. When the mate returned, he found Tintin gone. Hidden safely in one of the lifeboats, Tintin and his friend Captain Haddock waited. When the coast was clear, Tintin lowered the lifeboat into the sea. But the first mate spotted them, and searchlights were turned on. In the excitement, Snowy was left behind. Snowy jumped. I got that pesky dog, mate. Never mind the mutt, sailor. Get Tintin and the captain. Snowy! Snowy! Hey, where do you think you're going? Up to the kid! Over the... Stupid swamp! We got him, sir. Why me? It's me! Next time, don't get in front of my machine gun. Aye, aye, sir. We'll leave our friends to the sharks. Full speed ahead! Aye, aye, sir. Get up, Captain. Burn the lifeboat, Whistler a Reef. Captain, snap out of it. My ship, it's gone. This, this is mutiny. Mutiny. <laughs> poor Captain Haddock, he's still drugged. And poor Snowy. <laughs> Snowy! Captain, it's him! It's Snowy! Snowy, you're alive! Snowy, look out! Sharks! The 
rising sun found Tintin and Captain Haddock floating helplessly on a becalmed glassy sea. I got to have a drink of water. Captain, look out! Help! Throw me a line, boy! Captain, it's... it's sharks! Look out! Sharks, is it? Behind you! Maybe I can scare that man-eater away. He isn't too close to the captain. I gotta take that chance. Captain, up you go! <laughs> wow, that was a close call. Say, lad, who, who are you? Me? Captain, don't you know me? I'm Tintin. Tintin? Oh, Tintin! Where are we? Where's my ship? Your crew put knockout drops in your coffee and took over your ship for diamond smuggling. Diamond smuggling? Yes. Well, look, I found these diamonds in a can of crab meat on board the Caraboujon. They'll hang from the highest yard arm for this. Poor Captain, he's still out of his head. How far do you think we are from land, Captain? Oh, too far, Tintin, too far. What is it, Snowy? What's that, Tintin? Captain, it's... it's a plane. Where, boy? There, see? Hey, here we are, down here! Ahoy! We're safe. They've come to save us. Hey, watch what you're doing there. Look, here they come again. Why, you bashy bethooks, you flying pirate! Jump! I'll get you for this! Not again! We won't have a chance this time! <laughs> Looks like we come to the end of the line, Tintin. To headquarters. I found T and the captain. I think they've had it. You think? You are not paid to think. You better be sure. Quick, Captain, behind the boat. He made a landing. Quick, Captain, under the boat. There's no one around the lifeboat, but I'll go over to be sure. And don't bungle the job this time. Quiet, Tinty. CN3 to headquarters. Not a sign of life, Chief. I am sure I got them this time. If I did, a shark did. All right, mister. No funny business. Drop your gun. Into the water. Good work, Tinty. Into the plane, mister. Headquarters calling CN3. Come in, CN3. Head... You got him tied up, Captain? Oh, <laughs> like a Christmas present, Tinty. Take it easy, you swab, or I'll, I'll, I'll dunk you into the drink. Captain, we're heading into a storm. Take a course due east, Tinty. We might make it to Spain. Think we'll 
make it, Tintin. We'll try, Captain. Blister, barnacles, boy. According to that gauge, we don't have much gas. Captain, you are next. What a blow for Tintin. Can he regain control of the plane before it's too late? Don't miss Crack Up, the next exciting episode of Perger's Adventures of Tintin. Perger's Adventures of Tintin. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Crack up. Tintin heard a motor. It was a plane. The pilot landed to be sure his job was done, but he was surprised when Tintin got the drop on him. With the pilot tied up and Tintin at the controls, they took off, but the pilot got loose Three to headquarters, in storm off coast of Spain, bringing in tea and captain. Good work, CN3. Meet you in Morocco. Soon. Out! Tintin. <coughs> You're right, lad. Answer me, boy. Come on, Snow. Do your stuff. <coughs> Hit me with a bloomin' bottle, will you? Here's one for Tintin. Tintin, uh, wake up, boy. Somebody's got to fly this contraption. Under in typhoons, he's out cold. Now, where's the gear shift on this windmill? Tintin, wake up, boy! Tintin, wake up, lad! Tintin, we're out of gas! Just in time, Tintin. The pilot. I gotta get the pilot out of there. No, Tintin. You'll never make it. 
Don't be a fool, Tintin. Uh, that swab wouldn't have risked his neck for you. But we're not swabs, Captain. Uh, maybe you're right, Tintin. Blister and Barnacle's boy. Where are we? But this don't look like Spain, Tintin. Nothing but desert. Snowy! Where'd Snowy get that? A camel skeleton. This must be the Sahara Desert. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Well, we can't make it across the Sahara Desert. Wait, maybe we can. There's a canteen of water in the plane. No, boy. Stay out of that bonfire. Get out of there, lad. It'll blow sky high any second now. At least we'll have a little water. Tintin, get away from that plane before it explodes like a firecracker. Are you all right? Never even spilled the water. Hey, the pilot. He's gone. We've got to find him. Yeah, we better forget that pilot and head for the coast. Morocco ought to be to the north. I just hope we make it. Of that water, eh, lad? My throat feels like I've been eating sandpaper. Not yet, Captain. This water may have to last us a week. We gotta find the Caribajan. I don't want my ship being used by diamond smugglers. Oh, we'll find the swabs, all right. But right now, we better rest. Oh, I've had it. Okay, but not for long. We've got a long walk ahead of us. Another sandstorm! <laughs> Blast that sand! Give me a drink of water, Tintin. Okay, but just one swallow. Captain, the water! It's gone! I left the canteen right here. That's impossible, Tintin. It couldn't just run away. Oh. Who is this mysterious desert raider? And what is he after? Don't miss Raiders in the Desert, the next exciting episode of Urge's Adventures of Tintin. Urge's Adventures of Ten ten. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Raiders in the Desert. After saving the pilot from the burning plane, Tintin ran back into the wreckage to get the water. Meanwhile, the pilot escaped. Later, when Tintin and Haddock stopped to rest, the pilot appeared. And while Tintin slept, the pilot stole their water and again vanished. Looks like we're on the spot, Captain. 
It's one of them desert raiders. Run, boy. Run for it, lad. Tintin. I'll clobber you, you desert rat. Tintin, where did he hit you, boy? I'm not hit, Captain. I just stumbled. I must have twisted my ankle. I'll keelhaul that camel herder. Down, Snowy! Sahib. You leave my friend alone. So, you do not have money, Sahib. Too bad. I got one thing you can have. Yes? What is it, Sahib? A back of me hand, you swab. Give him one for me, Captain. You will die like a dog for this, Sahib. Who are you and what do you want? Perhaps you have no money also, little Sahib. That's right. I have no money also. Too bad. You will be prisoners of Ahmed the Terrible. That's me. <coughs> so you will not try to run away. They do not call me Ahmed the Terrible for nothing. <laughs> Deep in the deadly desert, Tintin and Captain Haddock are taken to an unknown destination. You'll answer to me for this, you bone-headed burglar in bedsheets. Silence, you dog! Captain! Water. You can't let him die. Give him water. I'll pay you well. Pay? With what? You have no money? With these. Diamonds. Real diamonds? Yes, just give the captain water. All right. After me, my friend. Please, he's got to have water. But see, the water she is gone. But you promised us water. So I did, and there it is. See, Captain, we made it. We'll have water. Water, water. Not so fast. Oh. The master drinks before the slave. But, but, but. Uh-oh. On your feet, mister. By the beard of the prophet, you will die for this. Good work, boy. Now I'll trouble you for your camel, mister. <laughs> and I will trouble you for that gun. Oh, no. Not old fly boy again. This time I will finish my job. The chief says you took some diamonds from the caribou John. I didn't steal them. I took them for evidence. Enough, Doc. Give me the diamonds. But I don't have the diamonds. The boy doesn't have them. That desert rat took them. Hold it, Ahmed. I will take those diamonds. I did not intend to keep them, Sahib. Of course not. What do you want with us? The chief says you know too much about our little diamond business. Ahmed, show our guests to the adobe wall. Come, gentlemen, this way. This will only take a minute. Why, you dirty swabs? Enough, Captain. Do not try our patience. <coughs> At least you could give us a drink of water before... Ahmed, water 
for our departing guests. <laughs> Why waste good water, Sahib? Soon they will not need it. Good thinking, Ahmed. Let's get this over with. Ready? Terrible thing like that. Now my friend will not be needing these. So I, Ahmed the Terrible, will take care of these little beauties. <laughs> ah, that thief would have stolen them from me. Quick, Tinti, run for it. Going someplace, Saib? Uh, just stretching me legs, you pirate. And now I will stretch your neck! Captain! Come on, Captain, let's get out of here! Snowy! <laughs> Quick, Captain, to the camel! What? Me ride that humpback, jackass? Stop! Stop, I say! Infidels! Swine! How do you start a camel? By the prophet's beard, you'll die for this! Come on, Tintin, let's shove off! Get up! Come on! Yay! Turn overboard! Man the lifeboat! We struck a reef! The chief will pay handsomely for you two infidels! You will not get out of here! Get your filthy paws off of me! Tell me, boy, how could a ship's captain like me wind up shanghaied in the Sahari Desert? Can Tintin and Captain Haddock escape this desert prison? Don't miss Desert Dilemma, the next action-packed episode of Hershey's Adventures of Tintin! <laughs> Adventures of Tintin. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Desert Dilemma. The pilot had a gun on Tintin and Captain Haddock and ordered his henchman, the Desert Rat, to eliminate his victims. But it was the pilot who was shot by the Desert Raider. Later, Tintin and Haddock were locked up in a makeshift prison. Maybe there's some way he could help us. Take it easy, Captain. We'll make it somehow. What's that? Something under the floor. Sounds like somebody digging. Look, it's snowy. Come on, Tintin. Maybe we can get out the way Snowy got in. But be careful, lad. Right, Captain. We've got to get those diamonds back for evidence. Maybe we could grab his gun. Oh, oh. He's waking up. Steady, Tintin. I'll get a rope. Watch this, lad. Earth, what is this? Stop! Wait for me, boy! Hold in, fiddles! Stop or I will fire! Show off, lad! You will answer to Ahmed the Terrible for this!
Long hours of aimless wandering across the Sahara Desert under a scorching, relentless sun finally brought Tintin and Captain Haddock to a point of exhaustion. Stop this ship of the desert, Tintin. I'm getting seasick. No, somebody's a rock in the boat. Drop anchor, boy. Oh, Sassifras, what a ride that was. Captain, the camel, he's running away. Hey, come back here. Whoa! Oh, Tintin, we're stranded, marooned. And it looks like we're going to be in for a real blow. Run for it, boy. Run where? In your port in a storm, boy. Captain, I can't see you. Captain, where are you? Where are you, boys? Bowie, I'm getting weak. I, I... Where are we? Where's Captain Haddock? What kind of place is this? Who? What? You won't get away with this. I must take you to the chief. What does your chief want with me? This way, Sahib. Prison. Here is the boy, sir. Come in, young man. Glad to see you're up and around. Lieutenant Delacourt, commander of the post. Glad to meet you. I'm Tintin. Where's my friend, Captain Haddock? Tintin. Hey, are you okay, lad? I thought you was done for, boy. We received reports of a crashed plane and sent out a patrol. The patrol found us just in time, mister. Uh, uh, me name's Haddock. What brings you to this forsaken part of the world? Uh, there was a mutiny aboard me ship. Some diamond smugglers drugged the captain, but we escaped in a lifeboat. Diamond smugglers? Yes, look. We found these diamonds in a crab meat can on the captain's ship. Diamonds. Excuse me, it's time for the 10 o'clock newscast. During the night, an SOS was received from a freighter in distress off the coast of North Africa, and the steamer Benares rushed to the rescue of the stricken Karabujan. Karabujan? Boy, that's my ship. No trace of the Karabujan was found. There's something fishy about that. Captain, we're going to Morocco. My guide will get you to the coast. Thanks, Lieutenant. So long. Good luck. I just hope we make it to Morocco. It's the guy that ducked out at the fort. I'll take care of him. Put that gun away. It's our old friend, Ahmed the Terrible. Sure, that's Halliwag. Step on the driver. Duck Tintin. We better get behind a sand dune. We can't outrun a camel in this sand. Hold out for days as long as we got water. <laughs> it's empty. Ah, spill me water, will you? Boy, I'll mop up this desert with you, you two desert rats. Captain, come back. <laughs> 
How would you like another hole in your nose, Sahib? Empty. Run, Captain, run! Start the motor! Break to the camels! Full steam ahead, mate! The driver's been hit! I hope he's not hurt bad. Yeah, here come those bloomin' pirates again. With their driver wounded, the Desert Raider is moving in for the kill. Don't miss Mystery in Morocco, the next exciting episode of Hergé's Adventures of Tintin. Adventures of Tintin. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Mystery in Morocco. Tintin was in a British outpost and Captain Haddock was safe. Later, while listening to a newscast, they heard a report that the Caraboujan had sunk. Captain Haddock didn't believe the report, so they set out for Morocco. On the way, they were spotted by the Arab from the outpost. The raiders opened fire and wounded the driver. And still, the bandits came on. They shot our tire! You will get burned. I would roast for so many diamonds. Quick, Ahmed, to the camels. After them, men. Don't let them get away. Quick, to the oasis. is now Ahmed the Peaceful. You had a close call, friends. With Ahmed out of the way, you can make it safely to Morocco now. Hop in, Captain. It's a long way to Morocco. Good luck. Later in the Moroccan port of Baghar. The Carbojan was scheduled to arrive here in Baghar. We'll check with the harbor master to see if my ship made it to port. Captain, look! Tintin! What got into the lad? Tintin, wait! Tintin, wait for me! Lower the lifeboats! All hands on deck! Women and children first! Police! 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 Get them! Watch where you're going, sailor, or I'll take you in. It won't happen again, Your Honor. Now I can't find the captain. Maybe I should check the harbor master's office. Any news of the Carabojan, sir? No, monsieur. Did you not hear the news? The Carabojan was reported lost at sea. Thunder and Typhoon. The Carabojan. And they've changed her name to the Tangiers. Police! Robbers! Pirates! It can't be. That looks like Captain Eric. We'd better call the mate, quick. Oh. Uh, sir, Captain 
attic is still alive. And Tintin, too. They're right here in Baghar. If they spot the caribou, Jean... Don't worry, mate. They'll never leave Baghar alive. Officer, the caribou, John's being used for smuggling. Who is the captain? I am the captain. So, you admit you're the captain of a smuggling ship, eh? <laughs> My men tell me there's no such ship in port as the Calabouchard. Bilgewater. Why, I've sailed the seven seas with that ship, and I know the Calabouchard when I see her. I must warn you, Captain. One more disturbance, and I'll lock you up and throw the key away. We gotta let Captain Haddock know the first mates in Bagar. <laughs> Snowy, it's Captain Haddock! Captain Haddock! Captain! Captain, where are you? It's Tintin. He spotted us. Come on, Snowy, they've got the captain. Look, they put him in a car. Come on! Stop! Captain! Quick, Snowy! We gotta grab a taxi. Taxi! To the airport, please. I hail this cab, son. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir, but I was here first. I don't argue with pipsqueaks. Get out. But I must get to the hospital. Hospital? This dog has rabies. He just bit me. Is he rabies? Hey, let me out of here. Help! <laughs> Driver, follow that car. Gal? Which car, monsieur? Oh, it's probably miles from here by now. I hope we can find the captain. Snowy, it's the first mate. Tintin's still following me. I'll let him follow me up this blind alley and you do the rest. Right, mate. He'll lead us right to Captain Haddock. was close. We gotta call the police. Oops. Oh, excuse me. It's the Thompson twins. It's Tintin. Tintin, you're alive. Great Scotland Yard. We thought you went down with the caribou jam. It's a long story. I'll explain later. But right now, we've got to find Captain Haddock. But be careful. Those smugglers will stop at nothing. Smugglers? Yes, they're smuggling diamonds and cans of crab meat. Like this, the crab with the golden claws. Great, Scotland Yard. We just saw a can with a label like that. Where? Around the corner. Come with us. What is your pleasure, CD? We'd like to see a can of crab meat, sir. The kind with this label. Perhaps you would like crackers also. Open a can. What's in it? What else? Crab meat. What did you expect to find in a crab meat can, CD? I'm looking for diamonds. Diamonds? May Allah protect me from tourists. Where did you get this crab meat? My wholesaler, Omar Ben Salad. You check Ben Salad. I'll keep looking for the first mate. Right, huh? When we find the diamond smugglers, we'll find Captain Haddock. Tintin is hot on the trail of the smugglers. Don't miss Mystery Underground, the next exciting episode of Hershey's Adventures of Tintin. Adventures of Tintin. The 
crab with the golden claws. Mystery Underground. While Tintin searched for the captain, Haddock, released from jail, was kidnapped. Later, Tintin spotted the first mate of the Caraboujan and tried to follow him. When a taxi tried to run Tintin down. But Tintin ducked in time and escaped injury. Then when Tintin found the Thompson twins, they showed him this label. And Tintin knew he was on the right track. I have a clever idea. Come on, Snowy! Where'd he go? There's no way out of the cellar. Uh-oh. A hinge on a barrel. What's this? Be quiet. Shh. There's a light up ahead. Oops, bumped into something. Snowy. It's the crab with the golden claws. I won't tell you, you swabs. It's him. It's the captain. You won't get away with this, you pirates. We'll see about that. Where's Tintin? Here. Goodbye, Tintin. Hold it. Cut the captain down. Oh, Tintin, me boy. <laughs> You're a fine lad. Captain. Oh, no, you don't. Run, Tintin! Look in here. A wine cellar. What, oh, what a way to go. <laughs> All right, put that bottle down. You mean like this? Hurry, Captain! He's not out. Ugly old goat, isn't he, gentlemen? It's him! Indubitably. Uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Questions? Quite. Our friend Tintin thinks you might be working with a ring of smugglers. Smugglers? You impudent infidels. Get out of here! It's Captain Haddock. Haddock? And Tintin. Tintin? So, you are the troublemaker. You were saying, Mr. Salad? He's out cold. Look, it's the crab with the golden claws. He's the leader of the smugglers. Come on, Tintin, to the Caribouchon. Ahoy, oh, man. Stand by to up anchor. Hurry! Here comes the captain and Tintin. Full speed ahead. Hurry, lads. Those pilch rats are getting underway. The police boat. We take the diamonds, then Salad takes the raft. <laughs> Hurry, Captain. Captain! Steady, boy. I'll fish you out of the drink. Where'd he hit you, boy? I wasn't hit. I slipped and fell. I'll have words with that seagoing policeman. Rough words. I'll give you five minutes to duck that police boat. We better go back, Captain. He means business. We'll explain to that hothead later. 
Right now, we've got to catch that ship. Well, well, this ought to be our last job. With a hold full of diamonds, we can all retire. <laughs> Ahoy, below! A launch approaching to starboard! Can you make her out? She's making knots. Where's my glasses? It's the harbor cops. They won't find a thing on this stuff. <laughs> they won't even find a ship. Think they've spotted us yet? We'll soon find out. There's enough dynamite here to sink a battle wagon. And this long fuse will give us plenty of time. All hands port side and into the launch. Something's up, Tintin. Any more crates on board? One, sir. But the police! Okay. The diamonds wouldn't do us much good in jail anyway. So shove off. We might be in for some trouble. I can't wait. Those cops will get a real surprise package. <laughs> Cut your motor and watch your step. If we can surprise them... Pull the ladder down easy, boy. Good boy, Tintin. Let's go. Too bad Captain Haddock couldn't go down with his ship. <laughs> uh, it's good to have me old ship under me again. There's nobody on deck. I don't like the looks of it. Easy, Tintin. It might be a trap. Nobody below, either. Captain! Captain! Isn't that your ship's launch? It's the mate and that blasted crew. The rats have deserted the ship. Hey, that ain't the cops. It's Captain Haddock. Give me those glasses. Yeah, it's Haddock, all right. And Tintin. Swing the launch around. They must have seen us coming. Yeah, and probably thought we were the police. <laughs> Something's up. Snowy doesn't usually bark like that. Tinty, wait. Isn't this one of the crates they smuggled diamonds in? It looks the same, but they wouldn't leave diamonds behind. We gotta get on board before that dynamite goes off. That's suicide! It'll be murder if you don't get going. Look, Tintin, more diamonds. But to see what's wrong with Snowy. This ought to lock those pirates up for life. What's up, Snowy? What's the matter, boy? <laughs> Captain! Dynamite! Maybe I can throw it overboard. No, no, boy. Run for it. Over the side. Drop it, Tintin, and head for the launch. Don't miss Homeward Bound. The next thrilling episode of Hershey's Adventures of Tin Pin. Hershey's Adventures of Tin Pin. The Crab with the Golden Claws. Homeward bound. While the smugglers headed out to sea, Captain Haddock fished Tintin out of the harbor. At sea, the smugglers were surprised to see they were being followed by a police boat. And they planned to sink the Caribujan with dynamite. As the smugglers abandoned ship, Haddock pulled up on the opposite side. On board, they found the crew gone, but Snowy found the dynamite. His barks brought Tintin running, but can he get rid of the explosives in time? Hurry, mate! That dynamite will blow any minute! Me hurry? I'm not going aboard. You're gonna get rid of that dynamite. Look, Captain, she's about ready to... Oh! Whoa! Tintin! Step on it! That explosion could sink a ship! Let's hope it wasn't the police launch. I 
I didn't see the launch till it was too late. Ah, oh, don't worry, lad. It was their own fault and their own dynamite. Me beautiful launch spread all over the sea. How? Captain, the mate's alive. Draw me a line. Does that pirate think I'd save his ornery hide? Hurry, Captain, get him on aboard. Okay, but I'd rather leave him for shark bait. Quick, Captain, let's bring our launch around and pick up the others. Your launch? I was under the impression that launch belongs to the harbor police. How'd you like to take a ride in it? You are under arrest. Arrest, is it? <laughs> After we capture a tub full of diamonds and a crew of pirates? What are you doing about this ship? For the 100th time, I am the captain of the Caribujan. But this is not the Caribujan. Well, maybe this will change your mind. Yeah, look. What does it say on that life preserver? Caribujan. My apologies, Capitan. And there's your diamond smuggling pirates. Why, this man is insane. Thinks everybody smuggles diamonds. Well, maybe you'd believe your own eyes, Your Honor. Here you are, sir. The crab with the golden claws. Served with real diamonds. My apologies, gentlemen. And we'll forget about the bowed police launch. So long, man. I hope those crooks get life. Or maybe longer. Here's to the Caribujan. And a happy voyage home. Uh, what are we having for dinner tonight, Captain? What else? Crab meat. <laughs> you know, those diamond smugglers didn't fool me. I know a diamond when I see one. Ow! What is it? What else? A blooming diamond. <laughs> and so we come to the end of another of Tintin's exciting adventures. Be with us again soon when Tintin and his friends sail the seven seas, fight with bloody pirates, and live through breathtaking dangers. Watch for the next series of Jose's Adventures of Tintin. Next Sunday at 10.45, there's another brush with a lad who's second name.